students, parents and teachers. I'm Rob Smith, I'm head of post 16 here at Harris Crystal Palace and it gives me great pleasure to welcome you to the Year 13 Celebration of Achievement 2013. If you have a mobile phone with you, can you please make sure it is set to silent or switched off so that we do not, do not have any unwelcome disturbances to the proceedings this evening. Also, if the fire alarm should sound, please do not try and race to the nearest exit. Stay in your seats and we will keep, be giving you instructions so that we can have a calm and orderly exit via the uh, fire exits at the corners of this room. I'm now going to hand over to uh, our very able compares for this evening, two of our Year 13 students from Crystal Palace, Joe Stanton and Fahir Dahir. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to the Harris Federation Post-16 COA. My name is Joe Stanton and I'm delighted to introduce my co-host for this evening. Good evening everybody. My name is Farhid Dar here and I'm really happy to welcome you all here this evening. I hope you'll agree that we've had an excellent year working hard towards our exams, universities and our future careers. This evening, we're going to be recognising some of the outstanding individual achievements at each of the academies of the Pro 16 Federation. We will shortly hand over to the Pro 16 coordinators at each site, who will come up and announce the subject awards for the best student in each subject at their site. Starting with the best student in each subject at Harris Academy Merton, please welcome onto the stage Miss Winbank. Good evening. It gives me great pleasure to announce the subject awards for Merton. The first one goes to Jessica Hyde for psychology. If you could make your way up, please. <laughs> Linda Nalwanga for subject award in sociology. <laughs> For the subject award in politics, it goes to Kadeem Donovan. The next one, best subject award for physics goes to Ikran Mohammed. We'll have somebody here. Um, the subject award for mathematics goes to Alvin Usari. Is he here? No. no. Subject award for IT goes to Ryan Eustace. I can see him. <laughs> Subject award for geography goes to James Gale. Two out of two. Um, best subject award for English literature goes to Dina Graham. For chemistry, Shahzeb Ahmed. For business studies, Pooja Patel. For biology, Cecilia Tran. <laughs> BTEC Level 3 Sport goes to Terrell Lindsay. <laughs> Shannon Dwyer for BTEC Level 3 Performing Arts. Amrit Pem for BTEC Level 3 Media. Sana Rahman for BTEC Level 3 ICT. Sana here. And finally, Jamie Dapper for BTEC Level 3 Business.
thank you. Well done to the Merton students. And now we would like to welcome Mr. Piper up to the stage to present the Best in Subject Awards for Harris Academy Purley. I just want to say a um, very proud moment for Harris Academy Purley. This is our first cohort of Year 13s through, so we're very, very proud of them and particularly proud of the students that are going to be getting the Best in Subject Awards this evening. So to start with, Best in Subject Textiles, Tamina Rahman. Come on, Tamina, up you come. Best in Subject Award for Physics. Well done, David Lane. Best in Subject for Photography, Fatima Hashim. Best in Subject for Mathematics, Hamad Aziz. Best in Subject for Chemistry, David Lane again. Best in Subject Biology, Hemat Faizi. Best in Subject, BTEC Level 3 ICT, Ali Sharif Wadiri. Best in Subject, Level 3 Health and Social Care, Abdi Aziz Ishmael. And last but not least, Best in Subject, BTEC Level 3 Business, Vladislav Murinov. Thank you very much. Congratulations to the students at Purley. And now to present the awards for Harris Academy South Norwood, please welcome onto the stage Miss O'Reilly and Miss Olay Wollong. Okay, the subject awards for Harris Academy South Norwood for psychology, Jimmy Smith. For music technology, Geron Clark. For media, Daniel Yip. For mathematics, Govin Suresh. In law, Sana Rasvi. In ICT, Zain Mughal. In history, Zach Mulvaney. In English Literature, Daniel Davis. In Economics, Alex Nelson. In Drama, Stephanie Anderson. Chemistry, Adil Ajamal. In Business Studies, Jordane Graffy. In Art and Design, Sophie Laval. For Accounts, the award is for Purvesh Patel. For BTEC Level 3 Travel and Tourism, Melissa Jones. For 
for BTEC Level 3 Sport, Rashane Thomas. For BTEC Level 3 Science, Sangar al -Kazoe. For BTEC Level 3 Media, Shannon Cadney. The award for Level 3 Health and Social Care, Ashley Page Hines. The award for BTEC Level 3 Business, Vanessa Turbog. The award for both uh, Level 3 ICT and Level 3 Art goes to Andrew Tao. Thank you. Well done to all the South Norwood students. Uh, now we would like to welcome Miss Warren, Miss Poole, Miss Jackson and Miss O'Keefe up to the stage to present the best in subject at Harris Crystal Palace. Good evening everybody. Um, I'd like to, with great pleasure, I'd like to give the award, subject awards for technology. I'm going to read all the names up. If you'd like to come up, I'll then present you with your certificates. Uh, BTEC Business, Joshua Malcolm. <laughs> Graphics, Rebecca Brunel. <laughs> Business, Gabrielle Tuesday. Food, Courtney Bogle. <laughs> Resistant Materials, Ellie Castle. <laughs> ICT National, uh, Sean Odiemi. ICT, Theruja Mama Vijayan. Textiles, Tosin Ayofuyuji. And Economics, Alan Sejanovic. Well done, everybody. Thank you. And now, and now for the subject awards within the communications faculty. For the best student in French, Laura Godsmark. For the best student in politics, Rebecca Durham. For the best student in sociology, Chinelo Efekwe. For the best student in psychology, Carrie Ann Anon. The Student Award for History, Joe Stanton. The Geography Award goes to Ellie Starbuck. Best, best Student in Religious Studies goes to Michael Ashton. And finally, the, stu the Best Student in Spanish, Ivan Cheche Santa Cruz. Okay, we have the awards for the best students in the science and maths faculty, and the best student for maths is Chris Parmenta. The best student for physics, Liam Hutton. <laughs> the best student in chemistry, Selena Fecht. Best student in human biology, Ryan Lambert. And best student in biology, Amelia Warren. Well done. Hey, good evening, everybody. Um, lastly, the arts faculty. Congratulations to everybody. Uh, Kayla Pine Low, uh, best subject um, award for uh, law. Zach, Zach Mulvaney, best uh, in PE. Tyra Wilson, best subject award for media. Callum O'Hara ba uh, Barrett, best subject award for English. Emily Baker, arts. Makina Pert for music. Congratulations, Makina. Um, there are two um, uh, awards for um, the extended project. We have one for the um, uh, Par Par Paris Allen has won the first one for the Artifact um, Award. Congratulations, Paris. And then for the um, dissertation, we have uh, Simone Lisk. Congratulations, Simone. Thank you.
Congratulations to the Crystal Palace students. And finally, please could you welcome Miss White at Harris Girls Academy East Dulwich. Good evening, everybody. I'm here to hand out the subject awards for Harris Academy East Dulwich. Um, first off, um, best in BTEC Health and Social Care, Comme Owen. Best in BTEC Business, Jenna Wilson. Best in BTEC ICT, Amy Howe. Best in BTEC Sport, Leon Milton. Best in BTEC Media, Rakia Allen. Next up, the awards for A levels. Best in maths, Sophia Bajwar. Best in chemistry, Comfort Ogbenaya. Best in biology, Nadira Ahmed. Best in geography, Holly Newman. Best in English literature, Javeria Ahmed. Best in history, Comfort Ogbenaya. Best in Psychology, Zainab Ali. And finally, Best in Sociology, Shakira Rahim. Thank you. We are now proud to present one of our high achieving students at Crystal Palace, Amelia Warren, playing the piano. performance and well done to all the students mentioned in those messages 
And now I'd like to welcome up to the stage each of the heads of post 16 to present the best progress award for the student who has made the best progress at each academy. Okay, best overall progress award for Crystal Palace. This student has been described variously by teachers as unfailingly polite and generous in lessons, a pleasure to teach and dedicated to achieving the best grades. This is a student who, on discovering that it was possible within the timetable schedule to double up on lessons, began attending an extra set of lessons in a subject in order to consolidate learning. He or she has shown desire to seek knowledge in the subject beyond learning everything needed for the exam and has contributed positively in all class discussion. One teacher noted that he adds so much to the class, he strikes the perfect balance between humour, discussion and study. And although he may well have an OMG moment in the exam, <laughs> dedication and outstanding work, will, a work ethic, will always ensure his success. The Crystal Palace Year 13 Award for Best Progress goes to Arjun Patel. <laughs> I'm here to present the Best Progress Award to the Merton student. This award for progress goes to a student nominated by several different subject areas. A polite, well-mannered individual, combined with a mature approach to their studies, makes them a pleasure to teach. He, his subject staff have made several positive comments about their diligence to studies and the way they strive to improve their grades. Indeed, this student actually started at our academy as a level two student, progressing to level three, and has already now achieved distinction stars in all their BTECs, and is currently predicted an A grade in his A level, which, if achieved, will obviously allow them to go to their first choice university. The student has made a positive contribution to the classroom environment in which they work, and I'm pleased to announce the winner of the Merton Best Progress Award goes to Vinov Tia Garaja. I'm here to present for East Dulwich. This student came from Harris Girls Academy and has seen her education through from year seven right the way through to year 13. She hasn't always found the academic side of her education easy. However, with sheer grit and determination, she is on track to achieving a triple distinction in extended health and social care. This student has great aspirations to become a nurse and has already achieved a conditional offer for a Russell Group University to study child nursing. We wish her all the luck for the future as she truly deserves to achieve all of her goals. We would like to congratulate from East Dulwich for the Progress Award, Chanel Edwards. Right, and now for the Best Progress Award at Harris Purley. Well, this student, where do I start? Four years ago, when um, we became an academy, I taught this student in year 10. And um, I taught him in year 11. And I taught him maths. And boy, did we struggle to get this student's C grades. But anyway, I've got to say, two years on, this student has already achieved distinction stars for business and ICT BTECs, has already been offered a place at Coventry University to study 
business management and a real performance from him during year 12 and year 13 particularly. He's really applied himself and evidence, folks, that hard work, dedication, and determination really pays off. So congratulations for best progress at Purley to Robert, AKA Styx Ellis. Good evening. Um, I'm here to present the award for best progress from South Norwood. The award's going to Sebastian Klimek. Unfortunately, Sebastian can't be with us this evening. So I'm going to save the words that I've got here in front of me for him until he can enjoy his moment of fame. But I'm taking this trophy back to South Norwood for him. Thank you very much. Well done. Some outstanding achievements. And now, can we please welcome up onto the stage the principals or vice principals from each site to present the prestigious Year 13 Student of the Year from each site. Okay, good evening. Um, it's with great pleasure that I'm able to present the award for the Crystal Palace Student of the Year. The winner of this award is seen by Crystal Palace teachers as consistently polite, confident and helpful. One teacher described this student as both ferociously intelligent and quietly unassuming, and that teachers always learn something when this student is in the room. He has been described as a real gentleman, and despite the grueling demands of his timetable, still managed to deliver a reliable and inspirational centre-back performance for the post-16 football team. He is extremely generous with his time and very supportive of his peers. As an IB student, he fulfills all aspects of the IB learner profile, showing intellectual curiosity, self-reflection, and balance. Ladies and gentlemen, the Crystal Palace Student of the Year is Mr. Bluecoat himself, Joshua Kearney. Good evening. Um, the Merton Award goes to a student who, through his conscientious, sorry, conscientious attitude and determination to succeed, overcame numerous difficulties with academic subjects in year 12 and is now excelled in all aspects of academy life. By December 2012, he had secured places in all of his chosen universities and then spent hours debating the merits of each to anyone who would listen, particularly Miss Brown, his form tutor, saying, I've got to get this right. Anyway, after much deliberation, he has chosen Kings as his destination. He is a humorous, outgoing, and mature young man who's very popular amongst peers and staff alike. He's got an extremely bright future ahead of him. The award, therefore, is thoroughly deserved. The Merton Student of the Year for 2013 is Shazeb Ahmed. Presenting for East Dulwich. This student has worked consistently and tirelessly through th throughout their two years at Harris Post 16.
Their commitment and dedication to their studies has been exemplary, and as such, they have been a great moral model to all of those around them. This student has great aspirations to go into accountancy, and we have no doubt that they will accomplish anything short of excellence. Their academic profile speaks for itself, and with outstanding grades from the outset, it was clear to see that this student would go that extra mile to ensure that they met with success. This student is the epitome of hard work, and we would like to congratulate from East Dulwich for the student of the year, Sophia Bajwa. Right, we're back to Pearly again. And um, the student of the year for Pearly can only be described as rather eccentric. And I'm hoping that this evening he's actually got his socks on. This student is a very, very hard worker. He's very, very popular with both his peers and the staff at the academy. The one issue I've got with this student is he struggles on occasion to get to school for half past eight. However, is regularly kicked out by the caretakers at half past seven in the evening. So a really, really big congratulations to a student that is predicted to get A grades for all his A-level subjects and is hoping to study graphic design um, in the future. Congratulations, Hamad Aziz. Uh, back again to present the Student of the Year Award for South Norwood, but at least this time I can guarantee that the student is here. Uh, this particular student has been one of the stars of his year group. He is held in extremely high regard and is often sought out by students for help with their studies. He is without exception been extremely professional, mature and dedicated in managing an extremely demanding workload of challenging A-levels. He studied AS Further Maths with a Year 13 group in Year 12 and this year has independently taken on extra lessons to complete the A2. He will be the first student from South Norwood to achieve an A level in further maths. His polite, respectful manner, he pushes his academic progress to a level that keeps his teachers on their toes. Despite the exceptional achievements, this student is one of our most modern students. We have no doubt that he will go on to achieve great things studying engineering at university. And if he is responsible for the buildings, bridges or aeroplanes of the future, I think we are all in very safe hands. He will be missed by staff and students and we wish him the best for the future. South Norwood Student of the Year to go, go Vin Suresh. Done to those students. And now for the 100% attendance raffle, please welcome Miss Miles, Principal of the Post 16 Federation. Good evening, everyone. I always get to do the nice things on these evenings, which is lucky for me. Um, the first raffle I'm going to draw is for those students that have managed throughout the year to maintain 100% attendance and punctuality record and there is a very nice iPod for you here okay here we go I have no idea whose names are in here but the winner is let's hope they're here now Courtney Bogle
Okay, the second raffle is for students who received the most positive comments throughout the year or reward points. So all of those of you that thought this wasn't worth it, much for you. There is another iPod here for those people. So, here we go. Let's hope they're here. This is Simone Lisk. Okay, now this is the top award for the Federation for a Year 13 student. This is the Stephen Robry Memorial Trophy and it goes to the Federation Student of the Year. So this is a real honour to receive this award. Sometimes when teachers refer to impressive students, you hear them say the same phrases. However, the student who has been chosen by the Federation as the recipient of this award has prompted phrases the like of which I've never heard said about a student before. One teacher described this student's intellect as off the scale. Another claimed, this is the brightest student I have ever taught, including in my years lecturing at uni university. Other comments include, good was never enough. Maximum achievement was always the goal. Just an incredible student a fantastic human being. He or she <laughs> frequently achieves near perfect scores in physics but still has plenty of time to help other students improve their grades. She or he <laughs> achieved a perfect 100% in the two hardest modules in A-level maths. He is imaginative and develops solutions to problems that others often do not. He is polite at all times and shows respect to staff and peers. He puts himself out of his comfort zone in the academic sense and beyond. In all respects, a model student who conducts himself with genuine scholarly humility. To top it all off, this student looks extremely likely to achieve the grades which will allow him to take up his offer from Trinity College, Cambridge to read engineering. He is predicted to get two A stars and an A and hopefully he will become our first ever student to get an A star in further maths at the full A level. Ladies and gentlemen, Students, the Stephen Robry Memorial Trophy for the Federation Student of the Year 2013 goes to Chris Parmenta. seen so many outstanding achievements tonight. Well done to everyone. <laughs> we are coming to, an e to the end of this part of the evening, but before we go, we think it's important to reiterate just how hard students and staff have worked this year. From after school study support to continual mocks and assessments, it may have seemed hard at the time, but without the seriously hard efforts of both students and staff, I think you would all agree that we wouldn't, we wouldn't have had so much to celebrate this evening. I know you're all desperate to get out and dance, but before we do, we would like to present the final video farewell. <laughs> 